Our journey commences in 331 BCE as Alexander the Great sets foot on Egyptian soil. This moment, marked by the thunderous hooves of Greek cavalry and the resonating cheers of Macedonian infantry, heralds the dawn of the Hellenistic period in Egypt. Alexander's conquest is more than military triumph, it signifies the start of an era that would forever change the course of Egypt's history. His rule, albeit short-lived, introduces a new epic of cultural amalgamation, where Greek thought and Egyptian traditions intertwine, giving birth to a unique civilization. As the reigns of power pass on to his general Ptolemy, the Ptolemaic dynasty is established. This dynasty, a lineage of Greek pharaohs ruling over an Egyptian land, cultivates a fascinating blend of Hellenistic and Egyptian cultures. It's a time where Greek gods are worshipped alongside Egyptian deities, where Greek becomes the language of the elite, yet the heart of Egypt continues to beat in hieroglyphs. Among the Ptolemaic rulers, one figure stands out, casting a long shadow over the sands of time. Cleopatra, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic kingdom, is more than a symbol of beauty and allure. She's a formidable leader, a cunning diplomat, and a patron of the arts and education. Her reign, marked by political alliances and romantic entanglements with the likes of Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, cements her place in history as one of Egypt's most iconic figures. The Hellenistic period, a fusion of Greek and Egyptian cultures, sets the stage for the next era of Egyptian history. It's a period characterized by remarkable cultural exchange, intellectual growth, and political intrigue. As the sun sets on the Hellenistic period, it leaves behind a rich tapestry of intertwined cultures that continue to shape the identity of Egypt, paving the way for the Roman and Byzantine influence that is to follow. 30 BCE marks a new era as Egypt falls under the control of the Roman Empire. This period, a merger of two distinct civilizations, brought about profound transformations on the Egyptian landscape, culturally, politically, and architecturally. The Roman Empire, with its unrivaled organizational skills and architectural prowess, brought about a significant shift in Egypt's urban planning and infrastructural development. The city of Alexandria, already a flourishing hub during the Ptolemaic era, was further enhanced by Roman architectural grandeur, becoming a beacon of learning and culture. As the Romans settled in, they also brought with them their pantheon of gods, which coexisted with the traditional Egyptian deities. However, over time, a new religion was introduced that would drastically alter Egypt's spiritual landscape. The dawn of the Byzantine era in the 4th century saw the advent of Christianity in Egypt, a change that would leave an indelible mark on the nation's religious identity. Under the Byzantine rule, Christianity became the dominant faith, leading to the decline of the age-old Egyptian polytheistic religion. The rise of Christianity also gave birth to monasticism in the deserts of Egypt, a practice that would later spread throughout the Christian world. But the Byzantine period was not just about religious transformation. It also brought about changes in the administrative structure with the introduction of the diocese system. This system, while initially met with resistance, eventually became an integral part of the Egyptian administrative fabric. The Roman and Byzantine rule was a period of significant transition for Egypt. From the magnificent Roman architecture that transformed city skylines, to the rise of Christianity that reshaped the spiritual scene, these centuries were a time of great change. Yet, despite the upheavals, Egypt retained its unique cultural identity, absorbing and adapting the new influences while preserving its rich heritage. The Roman and Byzantine rule, while bringing significant changes, paved the way for a new chapter in Egyptian history. As we move forward in our journey through time, we find that the influences of this era continue to resonate in the Egypt of today, a testament to the enduring legacy of this transformative period. The year 641 CE ushers in a new era as Egypt experiences the Islamic conquest. This period in Egyptian history is a testament to the transformative power of cultural exchange and the resilience of a civilization that had already weathered millennia. The Islamic conquest brought significant changes to the socio-political fabric of Egypt. One of the most visible changes was the rise of new cities. Among them, Cairo stands out. Founded in 969 CE, Cairo rapidly grew to become a center of learning and culture, its influence spreading far beyond the borders of Egypt. But the Islamic conquest didn't just change the map of Egypt, it also transformed the cultural landscape. Arabic language and Islamic culture began to permeate every aspect of Egyptian society, from the arts and sciences to commerce and governance. 
The establishment of Al-Azhar University in Cairo, one of the oldest universities in the world, underlines the era's emphasis on knowledge and learning. This period also saw the construction of architectural masterpieces that continue to define Egypt's skyline. The Mosque of Ibn Tulun, the Al-Azhar Mosque, and the Cairo Citadel are just a few examples of the Islamic influence on Egyptian architecture. These structures not only showcase the aesthetic sensibilities of the time, but also reflect the socio-political realities of an ever-evolving Egypt. However, this period was not without its challenges. Political instability and conflict were common as different dynasties vied for control. Yet, through all these upheavals, Egypt managed to maintain its unique identity, assimilating Islamic influences while preserving elements of its ancient past. This era of Islamic rule, which lasted for centuries, was instrumental in shaping Egypt's modern identity. It was a period of profound change that left an indelible mark on the nation's cultural, social and architectural landscape. The influence of this period can still be felt today, not just in Egypt, but across the world. The Islamic conquest introduced a new cultural landscape, setting the stage for centuries of Muslim rule. Despite the challenges, Egypt emerged from this era as a vibrant center of Islamic culture and learning, its legacy echoing through the ages. The 16th century witnesses the dominance of the Ottoman Empire in Egypt. A time of significant transformation, the Ottoman rule introduced new administrative structures that reshaped the dynamics of Egyptian society. The Ottomans, a Turkish empire that spanned three continents, held sway over Egypt for nearly 300 years. During this period, Egypt was governed as a province of the empire, with a pasha appointed by the Ottoman Sultan residing in Cairo. The Ottomans brought with them a centralized system of governance, which although faced resistance, eventually led to a more organized political structure in Egypt. However, the power of the Ottoman Empire began dwindling by the late 18th century, creating an opportunity for other global powers to step into the scene. One such power was France, under the leadership of Napoleon Bonaparte. In 1798, Napoleon led a French invasion of Egypt, marking a brief but impactful chapter in Egypt's history. Napoleon's invasion was driven by a desire to undermine Britain's access to India, but it also introduced Egypt to European science and culture. Despite facing defeat and being forced to withdraw in just three years, the French left behind a lasting legacy. The discovery of the Rosetta Stone during the French occupation, for example, was a significant milestone in understanding ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Moreover, Napoleon's invasion brought Egypt into the global geopolitical arena. It highlighted Egypt's strategic importance as a bridge between the East and the West, bringing it to the forefront of European imperial interests. This period marked the beginning of Egypt's modern history, as it transitioned from an isolated province to a key player in global politics. The Ottoman dominance and the French invasion introduced Egypt to the world stage, this era of foreign rule and interaction with European powers set the stage for the subsequent changes that Egypt would undergo, eventually leading to its emergence as a modern nation. The early 19th century marks the rise of Muhammad Ali Pasha. The reign of this ambitious leader began a period of resurgence in Egypt's power and influence. Muhammad Ali, often referred to as the founder of modern Egypt, was a man of vision and reform. He embarked on a series of sweeping changes that would forever alter Egypt's trajectory. With a keen eye on modernization, Ali set about transforming Egypt from an agrarian society to an industrialized nation. He initiated vast projects to improve irrigation, encouraging the cultivation of cash crops like cotton. This not only boosted the economy, but also elevated Egypt's standing on the global trade stage. Education and military reforms were also at the forefront of Ali's agenda. He established schools and sent students to Europe for advanced studies. His military reforms, inspired by European models, transformed the Egyptian army into a formidable force. These efforts were part of Ali's grand vision to make Egypt a powerful, self-sufficient nation. However, the road to modernization was not without its challenges. Muhammad Ali's ambitious reforms were costly, straining the economy and leading to increased taxation. This, along with his autocratic rule, led to discontent among the populace. The growing European influence was another significant aspect of this era. As Egypt's economic ties with Europe strengthened, so did European interference in Egyptian affairs. This growing influence eventually led to the British occupation of Egypt in 1882, a turning point in Egypt's history. The reign of Muhammad Ali Pasha, 
marked a resurgence in Egyptian power, setting the stage for the struggle for independence. His reforms, while not without controversy, brought about significant changes that continue to shape Egypt. His era is a testament to the enduring spirit of the Egyptian people, their resilience in the face of challenges, and their relentless pursuit of progress and independence. The early 20th century sparks a wave of nationalist movements in Egypt. A growing sense of Egyptian identity, coupled with dissatisfaction with British rule, began to stir the winds of change. These winds, however, were not gentle breezes, but rather, powerful tempests of resistance and revolution. The year 1919 was a significant milestone on Egypt's path to independence. A nationwide revolution erupted in response to the British arrest and deportation of popular nationalist leader Saad Zaghloul and his colleagues. This revolution was not confined to the political elite. It was a mass movement that transcended class, religion and gender, giving it a power that could not be ignored. Egyptians from all walks of life united in their demand for independence, staging strikes, demonstrations and acts of civil disobedience that rocked the nation. The British reaction to the revolution was initially one of repression. However, the strength and persistence of the Egyptian people could not be quelled. In the face of such determined resistance, the British were forced to reconsider their position. The result was a significant step on the path to independence. The 1922 Unilateral Declaration, which ended British protectorate status and recognized Egypt as a sovereign state. However, this was only partial independence, as Britain retained control over key areas of governance. This period in Egyptian history was a crucible, a time of testing and transformation. It was marked by the struggle for sovereignty, the fight for national identity, and the dream of self-determination. It was a time when the Egyptian people made their voices heard, and those voices echoed a clear and resounding message. Egypt for the Egyptians. The early 20th century marked a turning point as Egypt took significant strides towards independence. The road was long and fraught with challenges, but the spirit of the Egyptian people remained undaunted. Their resilience, determination, and unyielding pursuit of freedom were pivotal in shaping the course of their nation's history. This was Egypt's path to independence, a journey marked by struggle, sacrifice, and ultimately, triumph. Post-independence Egypt embarks on a journey of modernization and transformation. As we delve into the early 20th century, Egypt had started to embrace the winds of change, albeit with its fair share of hurdles and triumphs. The quest for modernity was not a straightforward path. The country grappled with economic challenges, social disparities, and political unrest. However, it was this very turbulence that sparked the flames of revolution. Let's journey through this era where Egypt's identity was being reshaped and redefined. The initial modernization efforts were driven by the ambitious King Farouk, the last monarch of Egypt. He sought to modernize the country's infrastructure, education system, and military. Despite these strides, his reign was marked by excess and corruption, leading to widespread dissatisfaction among the populace. This discontent culminated in the pivotal year of 1952. A group known as the Free Officers, led by the charismatic Gamal Abdel Nasser, orchestrated a bloodless coup d'etat. The monarchy was abolished and Egypt was declared a republic. This was a defining moment in Egypt's history, signifying the end of one era and the dawn of another. Nasser emerged as the second president of Egypt in 1956. His reign was characterized by ambitious social and economic reforms. He championed the cause of Arab nationalism and sought to free Egypt from foreign influence. His most significant achievement was the nationalization of the Suez Canal, a move that asserted Egypt's sovereignty and marked a turning point in its relationship with the colonial powers. Despite the challenges, Nasser's era saw considerable advancements in infrastructure, healthcare, and education. His policies aimed at social justice and economic independence resonated with the masses, earning him widespread popularity. However, Nasser's rule was not without controversy. His socialist policies and autocratic style of governance drew criticism. The loss in the Six-Day War with Israel in 1967 was a significant blow to his leadership, leading to his resignation in 1970. Even with its ups and downs, the 1952 revolution was a turning point for Egypt. It marked the end of the monarchy, set the stage for a socialist republic, and shaped Egypt's modern identity. The revolution also inspired other Arab and African countries to challenge colonial rule, positioning Egypt as a leader in the decolonization movement. 
The revolution of 1952 set Egypt on a new path, shaping its contemporary identity. As we reflect on this transformative period, we see a nation striving for sovereignty, social justice, and modernization. A narrative that continues to play out in the Egypt of today. From ancient dynasties to modern revolutions, Egypt's history is a testament to its resilience and transformation. Our journey has taken us from the Hellenistic period, where Greek and Egyptian cultures melded to shape an unforgettable era under the Ptolemaic dynasty, to the significant changes brought by Roman and Byzantine rule. We've witnessed the profound influence of the Islamic conquest and the rise of cities like Cairo in the Middle Ages. We've seen the administrative structures introduced during Ottoman dominance, and the brief yet impactful French invasion under Napoleon that propelled Egypt onto the global stage. We've explored the resurgence of Egyptian power under Muhammad Ali Pasha, and navigated the complexities of European influence and British occupation. We've walked through the early 20th century, a time of nationalist movements and the path to independence, leading to the partial independence in the 1920s, and we've arrived at the revolution of 1952, marking the end of the monarchy and setting Egypt on a new path towards its contemporary identity. Throughout these periods of change and challenge, Egypt's enduring spirit has remained unbroken. Its history is a rich tapestry of resilience, innovation, and transformation, reflecting the indomitable spirit of a nation that has weathered countless storms and yet continues to shape the world. This historical odyssey reveals the enduring spirit of a nation that has shaped the world. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey through time. We've delved into the depths of Egypt's rich past, from the Hellenistic period right through to the revolution of 1952. If you've enjoyed this exploration and would like to discover more about the fascinating tapestry of global history, please do like this video, share it with fellow history enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Until next time, keep exploring the past to understand the present.